So last year, my room looked like this. And to be perfectly honest with you, I hated it. Mainly because the walls looked like this. And nothing about this looks good. Like, what is that paint colour? So, during September last year, me and my dad embarked on a journey to create the most amazing room for both streaming and for studying. And, spoiler alert, I think we may have done it. And a massive thank you to Actinium Cloud for making this entire video possible. So to start off, this is my piano. It's a Yamaha PSR 420 or PSR 320. I'm not fully sure which model. It's not really anything special to be fair. It's a, quite a cheap piano. I don't actually take any lessons anymore as I just find it like a way to relax rather than to try and study and become the best at. And this bed, however, <laughs> this bed is something very special as it can do something which most other beds can't. It can lift and it can lift on both ends of the bed. It is genuinely incredible. Moving on, there is a custom painting of my dog Lucky above my bed, and uh, it fits the colour scheme perfectly. Of course, being a black and white sheepdog, it really does fit <laughs> the general aesthetic of the room. Look at the detail on that. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Down here, we have this kind of like futon seat thing. Um, which doubles as a laundry basket. It's actually a really smart idea. Um, so when I ever have someone come over, I can just uh, pull this out over here and uh, they can sit down and uh, chill with me and use the setup. And behind the, uh, the futon, which actually covers these cables quite nicely, there is a 65 watt super fast charger, uh, which charges my phone. It's a really good charger. It's like 20 pounds on Amazon or something. Uh, and it's made of gallium nitride. So it means it charges very fast without getting too hot. I'll leave the link in the description as I would really recommend it. This curious box here actually contains a Star Wars canvas uh, as I'm a massive fan of Star Wars. Now I was planning on putting this up for the video today but the command structure which I was going to use to put this up didn't arrive so I guess I'll have to leave it for the next time. And that is what the canvas looks like. I personally really like it, it's going to add a splash of colour above the piano and the uh, white wall and hopefully just uh, stop the echo in this room because you might be able to tell that because the wall is so blank and there's nothing there, the sound is bouncing everywhere uh, and it's really echoey. So I'm really hoping that that and uh, many other paintings going on the wall will fix that. I just had to come and stand on top of my bed to show you the size of this wardrobe. It is humongous. I think it's like 2 meters 16 or something. It's crazily big. So this big main one is, you guessed it, my wardrobe. I've just got my uh, like school clothes in here as well as a few little jumpers and stuff. And then down here we've got some shirts and t-shirts. Uh, we've got my trousers down here and jeans. And then we've got some shoes. These are actually uninterrupted shoes, uh, which are our special collection of Nike shoes between LeBron James and uh, Nike. And it's actually really nice. It's just Nike Air Force Ones uh, with a little you know, staple there to uh, make it a little bit special. And I, I do like it. In these cupboards, I've just got like things. <laughs> There's no pattern in here whatsoever. I've got some old toys which I haven't got round to throwing out yet, as well as some like collectible Star Wars things. Uh, like I said, I really do love Star Wars as uh, that painting shows. <laughs> Let's not talk about the Star Wars memorabilia in here. Oh my god, I have a problem. Now, the big daddy of the setup, the humongous gaming PC, it's actually huge. I don't know if you can. Uh, how do I do this? How do I show the size of it? It's got three fans at both the front and the top of the case, so it's massive, it really is. Um, but that does mean that I can do one special thing, which I'm going to show you now. So, by having three fans at both the front and the top, it allows you to put a huge AIO and three fans in either direction. And in this case, I've got my AIO, which is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, at the top, and then three 120mm fans at the front. For the specs, this PC is a monster. It's got an 11 gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti Aorus Edition Extreme, um, which crunches through pretty much any game I can play. I've got 16 gigabytes of super fast 3600 megahertz Corsair RAM in dual channel configuration, which is paired with a AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core CPU, which is boosted to 4.5 gigahertz. And uh, as Ryzen loves fast RAM, 
this PC does very well when it comes to loading applications and any CPU based tasks. The case is a Corsair TD500 and the side panel here is very nice, I love the tinted glass. Now for my peripherals and setup, we're going to go through the monitors and the peripherals and the speakers. So to start off the speakers, I actually don't know, they are creative apparently. I'll leave the links in the description, I don't know what these are, my dad bought them um, for me for my birthday. I actually really like them. I'll put a quick audio sample from uh, a few feet away just to see how it sounds, but I really like them. The mouse is my Logitech G502 SE edition. I adore this mouse. I know there's a lot of people who prefer other mice such as the G Pro Wireless, but personally the G502 is the best shape for my hand. Uh, as you can see, it just fits so well, although I have got a huge hand, so maybe that's why. This mouse goes to 16,000 dpi, which is pretty overkill, I won't lie. But it's always nice to have the option, as well as a few little RGB lights and an incredible feature on the scroll wheel where if you press that down, it just glides without you having to click it. So you can glide your scroll wheel nice and easily to scroll through web pages. And then if you press a button, it's now nice and tactile for gaming. Personally, I think that's a great feature. Sticking with peripherals, I've got a keyboard here, which is a zero keyboard. Uh, and the reason you or I have never heard this brand is because it's some Chinese brand, it's very cheap. I picked it up for like 10, no, 20 pounds, so yeah, incredibly cheap. Uh, but I do like the finish of it, I have to be honest. The white uh, on the black mat looks very nice. However, it's very loud, not very responsive, and yeah, it's just, it's just not very good. But for 20 pounds, you can't go wrong. And then to add some colour to uh, the desk, I've got some little plants from Ikea, I'll leave these in the description down below as well. I think they were like £5, so incredibly cheap. They don't really look like they've got a colour on them right now, but that's just because it's dark in here. But in the day, it just adds a little bit of green to uh, the white and black setup, um, which I really appreciate. My microphone is an AT2020 USB microphone from Audio Technica. And this is really good because it means that I don't have to use some, you know, nifty little soundboard just to make my mic work. I literally just plug in a USB from there into my computer, which I've done with cable management. I'll show you all my cable management in a minute. It's pretty much the same as a normal microphone, but it just cuts out a lot of the faff. I've also got a cover on it, as you can see if I focus. So that should hopefully stop any sort of background noise or at least limit the background noise from my computer as those fans, as much as they are good, they are also incredibly loud. Now keeping this microphone in front of me is just a simple boom arm, which I bought from Amazon for like £15, a very cheap buy, but it does the job and I can't complain. My headset is a very cheap and very simple Turtle Beach headset from Amazon, it's £20 to £15 uh, on a sale. The microphone is pretty decent, again, not as good as uh, the 802020, but I would recommend for £20. Now I have two monitors as you can see, the main one being my gaming monitor which is right in front of me, and the second one being my sort of streaming monitor which I use for reading chat, discord, music, etc. This gaming monitor is an LG GN750, which is 27 inches and 240 hertz. I paid £200 for this monitor, and I did a review on it, as I thought it was so good for the money. The 240 hertz works brilliantly, especially when paired with such an epic PC, and I can play Fortnite, Minecraft, etc. on such high settings that it's unreal. I'll leave a link to both my review and the actual monitor in the description down below, so feel free to check it out if you want it. My second monitor is a cheap 24 inch Acer monitor, which is 60 hertz and 20, I think it's 720p actually, not 1080. Um, but that doesn't really matter since I only use it for reading chat, so I don't really want the groundbreaking features such as 240 hertz. And to light this entire area up, I have two humongous ring lights sitting both above me and to the side of me, which I can switch on with two buttons. So if I go down over here, every time I want to stream or record, I simply press a button and that turns that one on. Uh, I have that configured to a, kind of like a, like a light yellow. And that gives me somewhat of a nice skin tone as opposed to looking like a ghost. And then I have this one over here, which I have configured to a very harsh orange, which makes my side of my face look more tanned 
I'm British. I'm British. What can you expect from me? And with these two ring lights on, this setup looks so nice. I love the warm hues it brings to the cool hues of the uh, like the, the pink and the purple. So that was the gaming section done. This section of the desk is all about studying and revising. Uh, and like I said before, I am British, so I have my uh, cup of cold tea over here. Um, as well as this area here, which I used to house my laptop, um, which I'll get out in a second. As well as just some little trinkets and links and wallet, <laughs> anything you can think of which uh, a teenager needs, I've got here. Also, I thought I'd just mention that this is like some PlayStation little sign. I got it from B&M for like £10, uh, and it's actually really nice. The laptop is a Lenovo Flex 514 AMD edition with 4 cores and 8GB of RAM. It's actually pretty capable, and it can easily run Fortnite at 60fps. I mainly use this for like studying when I want to try and do some work without getting distracted by you know the PC which I can play games on all the time as loading up games on this just takes longer so I'm less inclined to do so and I've also got a load of free space over here which I can put books down such as I don't know my maths book over here instead of having to clear a load of space on this mouse mat to do it otherwise and uh, yeah like I just showed I've got these kind of like two I don't actually know what they're called I think they're just I'll call them book holders which I usually put my uh, mat, like my, my work in. So I've got over here are old books, which I use for revision. And then over here are my books, which I'm currently using. So I can store those when I'm not using them in lessons. And a recurring theme, a load of space. I try to keep this desk as minimal as possible, as it allows me to just put a load of stuff down, paper, etc., to just write. Um, so yeah, I've got this like little lamp here, which just you know adds a nice little warm hue to the corner. Otherwise, without it, as you can see, it's very dark, you can't really see too much what you're doing, especially without those things on. Um, so it just adds a nice little hue. And I've also got this Fortnite Llama um, because... For vibes. As well as another one of those pack of free IKEA plants, it's similar to that one over there and to that one over there. And all of this you just saw is being held on two IKEA Linmon custom desks. There's two Linmon tables here. This one is two meters and this one is 150 centimeters. Uh, and then they are on top of two mound drawers, that one there and that one there. And you may be thinking, well, how is it holding up in the middle? We've got two legs over here to hold it up, as well as some metal brackets, if I can get underneath here, which are pinning two desks together and creating some support. And the floor is very, very nice. There's almost no cables to be seen from above, and you can only really see them if you get really down low. Uh, please ignore that one. I haven't finished. And how I got this kind of like minimalist, cableless effect is by using these little cable holders and pinning them to the top of my desk. Now these ones actually aren't pinned, I'm kind of wrong about that, they're stuck on so I can move them at any time. But they hold each cable individually and I had to use a butt ton of them to hold it on as some of them are actually really heavy, you wouldn't expect a cable to be heavy, but they really are. However, it was worth the money. I think it cost over about £30 altogether from buying all these orders from Amazon. But personally, I really hate cables and I think I've done a pretty decent job of hiding them all. As from above, there are hardly any cables there. From above, you can only see that tiny little one there and that's about it really. It's pretty good. And like I said before, this is how I managed to get my microphone cable from all the way over there to go underneath the desk, round the back and into my computer. It's at least two meters of distance, but I managed to use a USB extender to make it work. So Minecraft 1.19 is out, and what better way to experience this than on a server with your friends? Well, thanks to Actinium Cloud, the kind sponsor of today's video, you can. Either make your own great value server using the link below, or if you don't want to make your own server, you can join my server for free at play.jgmc.net, as it too is hosted by Actinium. Cheers lads. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you later.